It's Scott Brown here, and in today's exciting episode, we go under the house, we go in the roof, and the scaffold arrives, and I better get my camera out of the rain. Remember on that ceiling job, um, a few episodes into it, we got a bunch of lights. I bought them from the merchant on the way into the job. Well, one of you guys talked to the company that made them, and they sent us a box. We got some lights. Oh, they sent some. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. I don't know who it was that um, got in touch with the rep, but thank you. Now I'm joining you under the floor today, Rich. We got a, enough illumination for all of us. That's an. Oh, look, this. Oh, yeah, peanuts lad. Nice kiwi chocolate there. And cookies as well. Oh, this is. This is. This is too much, Richard. This is far too much. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. That chargeable, bro. There's a little, there's that little battery lock go there, I reckon. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a plug. A plug. Yeah. Oh, look, bro. It sings a song. It's got like a little musical note. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> bro, this one light's like literally doing the job. The Bluetooth is ready to pair. Ba, 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 Bluetooth is connected successfully. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our new piles that are supporting the doorway are bang on before we start digging those. So we're just double triple checking the post locations over there where the doorway is. And we're actually getting a smoker shouted for us this morning as well from another company. It's getting a little bit out of hand with this free stuff. <laughs> have to rein it in. Rein it in. First thing we did is we propped up the bearer. That lets us remove the posts that need to be replaced. And then it's just a case of rocking out the original posts and digging a hole big enough for our new timber posts. I know people overseas are gonna think we're crazy putting timber posts in the ground, but that's what the council approved drawings say and it's what we've been doing here for years. So I don't know, maybe it's like a different ground condition or I don't know, but that's what we're doing here. They just got to the rock, obviously, and went, that's it. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? It's a bit sh**, eh, Rich? It's a bit sh**. <laughs> it's a bit oh, hard man. and sh**. Great little shovel for that job, eh? Yeah. It's like a kid's shovel, but yeah. perfect for this. Oh! Oh, is that a rock? Did you break it? Oh, <laughs> just when we fed. Oh, God. $10 shovel spot. $10 shovel down the drain. Proving way harder than it should have been. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I got video footage of me digging. I got some footage of you too. Oh, oh thanks, bro. I got home last night, took yeah. my boots off, walked in the house, and there was like little piles of dust that just been falling off me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> goodness. So Rich did those two holes, and one of them was a mission because there's an entire boulder underneath it. So he literally had to chisel down. And we got lucky on the other three. It's not not that much rocks. Yeah, Just yeah. loose rock and we managed to get it out. So we got lucky. Hey Rich. Eight hours I spent digging that hole. Yeah. <laughs> and I've done it for eight minutes. With my and teeth and a teeth. Finished it. <laughs> yeah, Piter made it look easy, eh, Piter? So now we've got to decide how to pour the concrete and there's ways to do it, get a truck and get a pump, but even though it's, you know, a lot of digging, it's not that much concrete, but when you have to get it under there, it is quite a bit of concrete. So we're coming up with ways, a little trolley maybe, a little, I don't know, who knows. Hey Scott, how you going man? 
Come on in. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Yes. I just went the Kiwi yeah. Classic Steak and Cheese. Thank you. <laughs> no okay. worries. Yeah. Oh, Damn, it's... man. Oh, you got the long ones too. Yeah, brought you some long reach hardwood. Um, just in time. We need these right now. Yeah. <laughs> the next it's job. Pretty hard wood. Oh, and then the, is this for All tiles sorts. or something? Um, no, this is, this is timber and nails and screws that'll cut. Put a, a fair amount, man. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, and I left the batteries in the car. <laughs> um, but what it is, is a suction lifter. Windows, pretty much any flat surface, oh, yeah. um, even slightly porous. I'll grab the batteries because I can't show you what it without. can do without the batteries. Yeah, right. So there we go. So um, it turns out Sam here was the one that, um, he's the one who told the Intex guys that we were using the lights in the video and um, that, that's how we got those lights. So yeah, very generous of them. A lot of multi tool blades. It's a Kiwi company as well, based here in New Zealand. Is that it? It's it. Yep. Yeah, they have a little meter for the. Oh, look at that. Suction gauge. Appreciate it, Sam. Thank you. No worries. Oh, shit, Sam. Oh, look at this guy. Oh. This thing cloth and then we'll paper straight on that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so they haven't gone over the trip, they've actually just gone over the old plant. Oh my god. That was smart to do that. Oh, we're doing our best to keep this coffered ceiling intact, but because of how different the room layout is, we pretty much need to change the whole ceiling. What did you call it? Oh, a what ceiling? Uh, coffered. Coffered? Yeah, C-O-F-F-E-R-E-D. And there's a lot of old installation up there. Just dump it on the ground, there's a little bit of fluff on the ground there and I'll scrape it up. Just in time for that moist sort of rain. Is that full of it? How do you feel there, Father? I feel better. How about down here? I bet. Ugh. <laughs> Scaffold, ready for the chimney and the bay window we're taking out and the windows we're putting in, the cladding, oh my gosh. All right, here's the chimney here. So we're getting a new sheet of iron, probably two sheets of iron looking at the width of this. So here's the chimney. And um, we're gonna have to get some roofing to replace all this. Probably three sheets. And we're gonna knock this down and maybe throw it down the chimney. That's like very deep.